right? That's another level of madness. No matter how hard you are, how can you pack somebody's clothes, personal items, and throw it at the time? I, I do not agree with that. You should not. I don't understand. This is the one that is annoying me. Self. I don't know. Because there are some things you can do. If you want to go and, like, do some things, like, there are some things you can do to be hurtful or to be vengeful. Yeah. Yeah. But when you go and do some, when you take it up the notch, that means, ah, there are some part of you that, um, Welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about the aftermath of what happened yesterday. I'm talking about what Ike did to Ilebaye, putting her clothes in the bathroom, the hallway, the bathroom um, hallway, and also the toilet. Yeah. So before I get right into that, take a moment to please take a moment to like this video and subscribe. A lot of people have reacted both online, offline. Um, in the house even ibuka also reacted we, we got reactions from cc from um cross some people are for the action some people are for are against the action and also i got reactions from people on my channel in the comment section so i'm going to address everything yeah let's start off with ibuka's reaction taking it back to some hours back that should be 11 hours ago or so i think that was when all these things happened ebuka first of all said coyote i say enter the bathroom now because he wanted to see what Ike was doing in the, in the bathroom that part i couldn't say we couldn't say it but later on we saw it and then he came back and said these boys they must me that was what he also tweeted and let's see if he had reactions to his tweet of course he did we can see emojis one the, the second one he's crying the other one you can see what's going on so this is to say ebuka felt it what was done to Ilebaye by ek yesterday ebuka felt it and these are his reactions with the emojis that he tweeted alongside yeah okay guys let's um talk about cc what does Sissy have to say about this? Sissy was pissed. Sissy said if she were to be led by it, she wouldn't have allowed that to happen or she wouldn't have taken it sitting um, seated down. She wouldn't have agreed. When I say agree, like you know when someone say I no go agree. Uh -huh. She wouldn't have agreed, like she would have done something about it. She said she thinks it's madness. Now, why is she even putting her mouth in the whole conversation that she can't even take it like it's something that she can't wrap her head around why would someone go that length for cross cross thinks that it went too far way too far that anyone with such a behavior you should be weary of such people and then he went on to say that see if you know anyone that have that has such behavior that see he can only say hello to the person by the roadside but not let the person come to his house because it means the person is capable of doing anything anything the person is capable of doing anything yeah then she, she then added and said that see this might be that like, what happened to elebaye is karma i think i yeah, definitely also agree to that that is karma for all that elebaye has been doing especially to him so if you don't know what elebaye did to show you yesterday see me myself when i make judgment i don't add emotions to it i take away emotions i'm very logical in my reasoning take away emotions and let's deal with things the way they are head on how can a grown-up adult that's 22 years old go to someone's locker in the person's presence because he had to he had to explain i think this is the time i'm hearing the full stuff from um, ebuka i use drink i use water this ebuka from um what's his name she i use drink i use oh, passing my analysis i'll get to that i'll get to that i'll get to that so how can someone a 22 years old someone go to someone's locker in the person's presence open the locker take the person's drink and in on top of that you insult the person saying oh is it like like is does he own the drink or something is biggest water like how do you provoke someone like that that was what a did to shay yes that was what Ilebae did to Shay. So if you want to judge, start from the beginning. Don't just don't just um, remove all your support and just see one side because that side favors your uh, massages your your emotions. It's in line with how you feel. Don't do that. Do not do that. She get. She has been poking people, provoking people, and I don't know if this is the narrative the show wants to wants to run with. 
they are not showing us the beginning they, they always always shows us when the fight is happening and when she's crying making it look like she's the victim i'm not in support of what ek did i have said this in my other videos i don't support what ek did but right now let's remove what ek did Ile Baye is not a victim in any way. I don't care whether she wins the money or not, but she's not a victim in any way. I keep saying that. She's not a victim in any way. Did you see how she was insulting Kid Wire? Even the whole Kid Wire incident. Did you know that Ile Baye initially agreed to what Kid Wire wanted to do? Yes, they had a conversation. She agreed. But she she told the kid where do not wear his um, branded jacket. He should not wear it to the arena. That was what she told Kid Kid not to do. But she agreed because when you, when you listen to her speech, she wrote the speech according. She wrote it with her hand, according to the stuff, and she used Kid Wire's company's name. So what are you saying? I don't know what deal she had with Kid Wire to go on stage and do that. So she's not the victim. Her own her own annoyance was that why this Kid Wire wear the stuff up there why please i better leave all this pity party stuff it's, it's it's annoying it's annoying what what ek did is totally wrong shouldn't have been done if you ask me and i don't know why he, he went to buy someone else's market it shouldn't have been done it shouldn't have been done i just i just wish they fixed the show that when incidents happen they play they play well how it like give us a full story play the beginning and the end that would make sense that would make sense they do that play the beginning and the end just take a few minutes play the beginning and the end. let's we we'll see the full story not just one sided no the show is not complete that way okay back to what i was saying so she was like it's karma for what she um elaborated to to him he was explaining and then she went on to say see um she he thinks elaborate might win the money because of the incident that has happened because it's like life has a way of making things align for you which is true that's why they say um no uh, what they call it things work it out for you yeah do not see the bad in things that like everything that happens in life happens for a reason your life is never an accident yes everything that happens happens for a reason so probably, probably things needed to happen this way align for her this way for her to move and let me tell you <laughs> she's an earth sign so things are fighting for her things probably she had cried and she i don't know her financial situation this is something she wants so bad and things are working out for her this way so yeah see the good in it she might win the show but her behavior is something you should when you when, you, when someone does wrong call it out not do pity party not do pity party I'm, i mean i'm very logical and for those of you saying that oh you're so quick oh lucerne's channel please you're not being forced to 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 be here if you know you have a favorite channel stick to the channel stop coming to my comment section and talking about people because you sound stupid don't come to my channel and say this person does it this way you sound stupid you understand this is my channel and i choose what to do here if you already have a channel stick to it because i'm so quick to block people that have been here know i block people i'm so quick to block because my block list is a long long people long list of people i have blocked i'm so quick to block you have your people stick to it i don't want to see such comments agent choco i'm begging you god's name please let's all respect each other those people calling me names because i'm not keen into your emotional whatever that's not me i'm a very logical person and i don't i try as much as possible not to judge based off of emotions see things for the way they are that's why i be okay so guys so we don't know what the um the what what big is going to do because a lot of people are waiting and people are saying that oh the camera has been showing ek a lot no ek has been smiling for what he did but it's, ek is also being stupid here um i know fine he had he had issues with eleba in the past on several occasions and the iron things out and all that why would you be the one to go carry out this stuff are you not stupid you had people or you had a um conversation with some group of people and you decided to use your hand to carry out the whole stuff like to implement it are you not stupid for me if i want to play a game in that house i would make that rule book 
my best friend before i do anything or anything that is out of place i will read the rule book and see if it is within the rules yeah i will do that but i don't know like i said i don't know if he is going to react or not because angel said she choose she true um what's the name what's this guy's name so man stands on the floor she had done something similar to that before because she was angry but not in the toilet do you understand like i said i don't know if biggie is going to react and also i can remember biggie giving um, neo and um v a strike because they were doing it was a relationship um fight not really physical fight like they were dragging the door or something biggie gave them a strike so i really don't know how biggie is going to react honestly so you know ebuka is not biggie i don't know how he's going to react but what what this person did is wrong okay and i don't know if he didn't have his thinking cap on and it's the way Perry was being pretentious and in and also trying to paint EK black. Like, how can someone do such a thing when you had a meeting with them and you knew who did it? And then Messi also acting like she had no idea who did it. And I'm like, guy, I watched this and you guys knew, you were all aware of what was going on. Like I said in my video, Elebay is Messi's new target. The more Elebay stays in that house watch Messi turn against Lebai. watch just keep watching week seven you start seeing push through color watch Messi turn as long as Lebai keeps staying in that house what she did to touch her is going to repeat itself again i'll see you guys in another video bye bye